what secret intuitive message is coming through for you now? Let's find out. What is up, Alien Army? I am Oculus, Oculus the, alien the Alien Next Door, door. Purveyor, purveyor of esoteric, esoteric lore. lore. And today our esoteric topic, as you can see, we have our three gemstones in the forefront over here. They're actually thumb stones, and these are going to be the choices that you have for your pick a card, tarot, oracle reading today. And today's reading uh, is actually just going to be a surprise. The universe, you know, compelled me to just pull some cards for three groups and whatever messages are going to come through are going to come through. This uh, type of reading is going to be slightly different because um, uh, the intention was to receive multiple messages for different individuals on the same reading. So. Uh, whichever pile you pick, um, trust and intend that there will be a message there that you are meant to hear, but the entire reading um, might not be only for you. I mean, of course it might be, you know, but um, this is just going to be more of sort of like a random type of channeled messages that come through based on the cards that I pull. And um, my intention of uh, what I was conveyed to do is this is for many different types of people, okay? So let's start by uh, selecting a thumb stone. And first we have here the Jade, second the Amethyst, and third the um, Aura Quartz, Aura Clear Quartz, okay? I think it has a more specific name than that, but I don't recall in this moment. So we have group one, group two, and group three. So as always, timestamps will be listed below and I will see you in your reading. What is up group number one? Those of you that chose this lovely Jade Thumbstone, we have a very interesting set of cards on the board for you, okay? First we have the Devil, the Page of Wands, the Emperor, the Page of Swords, Judgment, and the Ace of Swords. So these are all heavy hitters, like these cards are all packing a punch, right? So definitely um, this time in your life is very, it's going to be very transformative. I feel like you're about to... Um, and I really feel like yours, it might be regarding specific people, okay? I feel like someone might be obsessed with you. I feel like for others of you, there might be a power struggle between you and someone else. I feel for uh, some others of you that you might uh, be torn between two different people romantically, okay? But soon you're gonna know which one of those is the one for you, okay? I also feel like there's a big temptation. I feel like some of you might be having um, if there are two people involved, like you might want to be loyal and faithful to one person, but someone else is kind of tempting you. I feel like this person might be an ex, like uh, you might be involved with someone new, but then it's sort of like you and this ex are still kind of embroiled in this entanglement of, I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like it's something that is uh, karmically inclined and not finished yet. It's sort of like unfinished uh, business, okay? Um, for others of you, I also see that it's time for you to let go of your stresses about money, okay? It's time for you to manifest your goals and for you to say to yourself, guess what? I know that I have more than enough finances. I know that my bank account is healthy and wealthy. And um, I feel like you are going to um, receive some good news, okay, regarding your finances or something to do with paperwork that you put in, okay? That paperwork that you filed, paperwork that you submitted. Now this could be anything. This could be from the DMV to like paperwork for a new job application. I'm feeling that it is going to go your way, okay? We have this Jade. Jade is heart chakra energy. Jade is also a, a stone of like good luck and good fortune. So know that 
this major time in your life, like this is a pivotal moment in your experience, okay? Whether it's with, you know, that paperwork that I said or you dealing with um, these other individuals. I also feel for some of you that if you perceive yourself to be in competition with someone else, like regarding a job or a business or a career, that there is absolutely nothing to worry about, that um, uh, fortune is on your side with this, okay? I also see that you're in sort of like the midst of like letting go of like an old paradigm that was holding you back. You're kind of like finding new inspiration to step forward and to sort of like build your own empire, okay? Whether it's an empire, whether you perceive yourself to be an empire of like solid family values, whether it's an empire of like an entrepreneurship or something like that, I see that you are definitely stepping into your power now. The most important message I have for all of you, all the different situations that I said is um, thou shall not be baited okay I feel like there's someone or something baiting you for you to go back to the way that you were prior to this moment now I, again now is a pivotal moment I feel like um, for some of you it might be emotional knee-jerk responses or old thought processes which are outdated which are no longer serving you and you're coming out of that you're coming out of that sort of like hamster wheel of round and around and around right you're you're stepping out of that and i feel like uh you're going to receive a message soon someone who has wronged you in the past or someone you perceived has wronged you someone who has hurt you in any way something along those lines uh you are going to receive like um Maybe not an olive branch, but you're sort of going to receive some some offering from them or some like resurrection of their energy in your experience. Now this can go both ways. This can be uh, someone who wronged you and they're coming back and they're apologizing, they're on their knees, they're begging you. Um, there also might be a sense of vindication where you someone wronged you and now you find out from like a third party or you see on social media that what they did to you is uh, going on with them now, okay? Not in a way of like revenge or anything, but it's sort of like you're you're like, oh, well, they did that to me, and now this is happening to them. Like it's sort of like, like yeah, like you you don't like that so much now, do you? Like I feel it's like that, but I don't feel it in a malicious way. I just feel like you're gonna be able to witness um, something with this person that wronged you. Um, something go on with them that is sort of going to give you uh, a sense of like yeah you know like th this person thought they were invincible they could do whatever they want but now it's sort of like they're they're in a situation that is not beneficial to them and you're going to be witness to it okay that might have been a little complicated but that's what I'm feeling okay um, also you know uh, with this with this jade here um, I'm not sure if I said this already, but this is a heart chakra stone. So I feel like some of you uh, need to open up your heart chakra. I do feel that, um, you know, if you are uh, someone where someone is going to come back uh, and ask you for forgiveness that, uh, you know, uh, for you to forgive them, not necessarily for them, but for you. Okay. And my light over here just made a noise when I said forgive them. So that's how I'm, I'm kind of like, yeah, you should forgive them, not for them but for you so you could have peace of mind clarity to move forward from that situation whether you want to still have them in your life or not okay so major moment going on for you guys here um but definitely this is sort of like your old paradigms are being released it's sort of like you're being baited right now like are you gonna go back to your ooh, ooh, okay you're being baited and my light made a noise again so um you're being baited uh, are you going to go back to the way you were or are you stepping forward into who you are now? That's like a main message here. Let's look at your oracles. Okay. Okay. So your oracles are kind of, thank you universe, kind of just solidified uh, what I just said. We have don't let your past hold you back. South node. Remember, are you going back to the way that it was or are you stepping forward into what you want it to be? Then we have angel of strength, surrender, adventure, spiritual partnership. We have karmic relationship, 
we have date and we have clock okay so yeah now is the time all this time symbolism the strength spiritual partnership karmic relationship surrender don't let your past hold you back i'm definitely sensing um for some of you your south node might be significant right now okay this is uh when the south node comes up this is stuff that you um were familiar with uh, from a previous lifetime and now you are uh, on a quest to incorporate traits of your north node which are alien to you so uh for those of you that resonate you might want to check out what's going on with your south node and your north node the two will always be opposite signs okay um, so with the angel of strength, this is showing that you have overcome a lot in this pivotal moment for you. It's just really, um, saying that you're on the path to a new adventure. Just surrender to it. Okay. Now is the time. Okay. It's the time to be here now, not to be in the past, not to be in like an idealized future, but to be here now and not go back to the past because the way that we change paradigms is you know, typically it doesn't happen all at once. I'm not saying it can't, but typically, you know, a helpful way to change a paradigm, right, is to do it moment by moment, okay? So if you feel yourself about to have the same knee-jerk reaction as you have had in the past, it's time for you to kick yourself in the knee and say, that was before, this is now. Like, you know what I mean? It's time for you to just rectify yourself moment by moment also again with that x coming up i feel like you know those of you who are kind of torn between two people you're gonna have uh the opportunity to uh this person i, I see someone getting on their knees i don't know atonement repension those words are coming to mind maybe it's significant uh to you but i also feel like someone from your past is gonna ask you on a date as if nothing happened as if time didn't exist as if you know, like just a moment went by and not maybe like three years or whatever the case, okay? Someone from your past is coming back. Uh, this is really up to you. I do feel that there was like a karmic situation that had to play out between both of you, but this one, it's honestly entirely up to you because, um, you know, as I said, you it's, it's always good to forgive someone, not for them, but for you. Okay, so if you are going to forgive them, which I'm, I'm sensing that you will because I, I think that you're going to kind of see this situation with a new set of eyes, okay, um, for you to forgive them, but are you going to get back with them? Are you going to give them a chance? Are you going to be friends with them? I don't know. That's sort of um, up to you, okay, but I feel like that, that karmic situation is, again, I it, it's like it's coming into into light now okay that karmic relationship like so if there were questions that you wanted answers that it have not been answered yet they will be answered shortly it's only a matter of time okay um so yeah th this is also telling me that like again for um finances okay some of you might have paradigms regarding money that you have to work extremely hard in order to um, earn money, right? But this is telling me that um, you need to put in as much spiritual energetic effort into that as you are physical effort because if all you're putting into something is physical effort and it doesn't come from your heart and there's no energy lined up um, behind that physical effort, it's just going to be like pushing a boulder up a mountain okay what you want to do is um be energetically at the top of that mountain and then roll the boulder down right okay so those are the messages that i'm getting for you guys also again um heart chakra uh green stone energy pink stone energy you guys did choose the jade so i'm definitely sensing uh some heart chakra balancing going on if that resonates with you all right so this is what you guys got group number one I am Oculus, the alien next door. We will chit chat again soon. Peace, good vibes, and namaste blessed because you are. What is up group number two? Those of you that chose this amethyst palm, uh, thumbstone here, 
These are your tarot cards. You got the Six of Wands, the Moon, the Six of Swords, Temperance, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so right away we have two sixes here. So if you feel like you're not in a stable situation as of right now, trust that you are moving into that and you soon will be. Okay, so um, I'm just trying to make the cards even, but you know, I think, okay. Uh, anyway, um, so trust that you will be. Now is the perfect time for you to gain that stability and security that you always wanted. I'm also sensing here that it's like you are going to have something to, to celebrate in the near future, okay? I'm definitely sensing that. I'm also sensing like a heightened intuition coming in with the moon card. Now the moon card here is sandwiched between two sixes. So what this is telling me, no matter what situation you are in, remember this is general, but for all of you that chose group number two, whatever your situation has to do with love, career, finance, money, health, spirituality, your uh, key to stability, right, is your intuition, okay? Um, this is definitely what it is. Um, like, like your intuition is highlighted here, okay? Plus the amethyst, we have crown chakra energy, okay? So this is really, really telling me, like, listen to your intuition, listen to your intuition. And again, we have like these cards of like the sixes are sort of like moving forward into this perfect place of the temperance, okay? Into even more balance. But what I'm seeing here is that for you, um, I think if you're trying to manifest something, because some of you I feel like you're trying to manifest something, like you're really in that energy now, but sometimes you um, you fail to realize um, the shadow aspect of the situation, okay? I feel like um, some of you, if you're trying to manifest something specific, that it's, it's sort of like um, the shadow aspect of that is once you manifest it, you have to kind of take the next step and okay, so right, you have it manifested, right? You wanna manifest it. What's the next step after that? That's the shadow aspect because manifestation doesn't just stop once you receive what you desire, right? Manifestation is ongoing and ongoing. I feel like the shadow part of that that you're not seeing is like you're not seeing where you're going to get to the next step after you receive that manifestation and this is highlighting to me that you need to really find that perfect like kind of like that flow okay like what is the next step after that like don't just concentrate on what you want and then receive it concentrate go a step further right take a step further okay so let's say you're trying to manifest a new house and you're thinking yeah i'm in my dream home and i got it and you know it was but for a good price or whatever the case, right? What is the step further? The step further is um, how are you decorating your dream home? Are you having barbecues at your dream home? Are you inviting people over? You know what I mean? How, do, how does you uh, coming home every day into your dream home look and feel? I feel like you guys definitely, um, that's something that you might have overlooked in whatever it is you're trying to manifest. You're, you're just concentrated on the what is, but the next step is always you want it to be flowing and solid. So see yourself as already victorious in your manifestation having being made manifest in the physical domain but move forward what is the next step going forward i sense a lot a lot of forward movement for you guys and you have to direct your energy and your thoughts forward uh, from the point of already being in that manifestation if that makes sense <laughs> okay um so yeah definitely that's gonna work out okay also i see here like with this eight of pentacles um that's something that that you really should be investing like a little physical effort in. So let's say, again, we use the analogy of the dream home, right? Just imagine yourself in your dream home if you live there now. The physical effort for you to put in to draw it closer to you is, let's say, you know, and if, if you're not going to buy furniture right now because technically you're still in your old place and there is no place to put it, what you want to do, buy, buy a vase, buy a cutlery set, you know what I mean? Buy, buy a lamp, buy something now that you see in your dream home, okay? Or work on something right now that you are going to bring to your dream home. So for example, if you're like 
if you're an architect and you have like drawings, right? Like draw something that you are going to put in your dream home, okay? Like that's really what I'm seeing here. And of course you could use that for any situation. But for you guys, I really see that you're trying to manifest something because you know that you having this, it's, it's sort of like, um, I, what is that expression? The, uh, the nail in the coffin, but not in the dire way. It's sort of like the final piece of the puzzle. That's it. I feel like you having this one thing is like the final piece of the puzzle, but that is the shadow that you're not seeing in it. It is not the final piece of the puzzle when you get what you want, because now you have it. What are you going to do? Right? You have to move forward from that, okay? So you have to imagine yourself that you're in that dream manifestation right now. Do something physical for it. Let's say if you're trying to manifest a specific relationship, um, buy yourself, you know, let's say you want your significant other, your dream per person to really um, like cupcakes, right? So you're gonna go wherever you're gonna go and then you're gonna buy like a little cupcake and you're gonna bring it home and you're gonna be like, wow, like my dream partner is gonna be so happy that I brought them their favorite flavor of cupcake, right? So something like that, okay? But this is really using your intuition, using your imagination to propel you forward into already um, surpassing the place of where your manifestation is. That's what I'm seeing is a key thing for you. Like celebrate it now, like take joy in it now, whatever that is, because that is the key uh, that you're kind of missing. You're kind of just in this place where you want the manifestation. That's all you're focused on. But now this is saying, okay, yes, the manifestation is here, right? Energetically, it's here. It's already here. It exists. Okay. But the step to move you forward into having that in the physical domain is the next step after that, okay? So imagine yourself signing the deed to your new house. Imagine yourself wearing a wedding ring. Imagine yourself, you know, already in your dream career, whatever situation is for you, okay? Just take it, take it one step further. And now let's take a look at your oracles. Okay, so here are the oracle cards that you got. You have Think outside the flock, break the negative cycle, take a stand, rest and rejuvenation, step out of your comfort zone. Oh, interesting. You got North Node. Another group got South Node. Interesting there. Uh, girl with a snake, the runner, and addiction. Okay, so again, think outside of the flock. You have to think outside of what you're trying to manifest. You have to think outside of any type of uh, possible hindrance to receiving that manifestation that your mind can come up with. Again, we have more movement. We have runner and we have this horse here, break the negative cycle. Take a stand, take a stand, know what it is that you want. Picture the next step forward, right? We also have rest and rejuvenation, okay? And step out of your comfort zone. So again, this might be something, I'm, I'm really sensing that it's like about your personal power regarding this in the physical domain. Um, I feel like you might have exerted a lot of energy in this, but it wasn't um, energy, it was like physical energy that wasn't backed up by energetic energy. So some of you, you might be requiring rest and rejuvenation just because that energy wasn't lined up behind it, right? Um, you were kind of moving and moving, but there was no energy lined up behind it because you, you were just thinking only on the manifestation, not the step after. That's really what I'm seeing here. Um, okay, girl with the snake addiction. Um, some of you, it, it might be like going back to like a toxic thought pattern, or maybe there's like a toxic person in your experience that's kind of like thumbing you down. That's kind of like, oh, you know, what, what makes you think you can manifest? Like they're kind of like, um, what's the word? They're, they're, they're not, they're not supportive of you. Okay. And, um, Again, this is really like, like break the negative cycle, take a stand, think outside the flock, step out of your comfort zone. This is all, these are all movement cards, okay? So this is symbolizing to me, no matter what it is, whatever you're trying to, goal you're trying to achieve right now, take it one step further. Who cares what anyone thinks? Like if you're gonna go, um, if you're gonna go to a restaurant and order two meals, even though it's just you right now, right? 
who cares what anyone thinks you're gonna order two meals because you are putting some exertion physical effort a step forward if your partner was there then you would be ordering two meals or order two desserts whatever it is okay um, if there's an RSVP that you know they're asking if you're gonna bring a plus one click yes just click it just click yes okay you have to do something uh, a step forward than what you have been doing in the physical domain that's what I'm seeing okay um, and you know girl the sneak addiction I, again that that toxicity just kind of like brush it off shrug it off you know um if, if toxicity is coming towards you then you know what you need to do take rest and rejuvenation like listen i ain't got time for this right now right like you just don't have time of the time for this and step out of your comfort zone with the north node here i'm also seeing that maybe propelling yourself forward um, you know a step ahead than where you want to be it kind of is out of your comfort zone I would definitely take a look at any planets that might be uh, conjuncting um, Or opposing your north node I would take a look at the traits of your north node because I feel like incorporating the positive qualities of the sign of your north node is going to Give you some answers. It's kind of gonna be the key of what type of physical action you should take right now to manifest this thing that you want to manifest okay so i do see a lot of forward movement remember relax when you need to if you need to take a break to relax if you need to take a nap if you need to take a hot shower that is not wasted time that is like your energetic field signaling to you this is what i need now and rest can be productive because when you are rested and you are rejuvenated this is a time when you know channeled messages come to you when ideas come to you when intuition just flows it's not when you're in the process of like performing a material realm task okay so this is what i'm getting for you guys you're almost at the finish line group number two listen to your intuition and keep it moving all right i am oculus the alien next door we will chit chat again soon peace Good vibes and namaste blessed because you are. What is up group number three? Those of you that chose this lovely aura quartz. All right, so here are your tarot cards and you got the five of wands, the eight of wands, the tower, the three of swords, temperance and the three of pentacles so interesting we have two threes here all right so um for you guys let's see let's see let's see i feel like some of you guys might just have gotten out of a relationship or there might be a separation um i sense that there was like some sort of argument um petty arguments uh maybe uh, there was something that someone left your life quickly or you left their life quickly okay um i'm sensing that it's more like um your thoughts are scattered now but i definitely see whatever this situation is uh coming to um coming to a close this sense of energy where it's like chaotic and scattered and you feel like the rug was swept out from under you okay i definitely feel like you are uh returning right now as you watch this to a place of harmony and balance where you're actually going to co-mingle with this person again or these people again it might have been an argument like it could be a romantical type of situation but it also can be a situation where you know you were just having an argument with maybe a relative or uh a co-worker or or, or something like that it could have been a friendship I feel like also it could have been like an argument between like many different people not just you and one person or it's like someone else tried to insert themselves in the situation and it got blown out of proportion but I'm seeing something like there's a whole bunch of misunderstandings going on maybe it's sort of like a weird game of telephone where it's like one person told you this and the message got diluted and then the other person told someone this and by the time the message got to you you were just like what like you were fed up but i feel like it was not it was not the message that really happened okay it was it just got lost in translation that's what i'm sensing here okay i'm also sensing a lot like you're gonna have a lot of messages coming through 
okay, uh, from other people. I feel like if you did get into an argument, let's say with a significant other or something like that, or if you're on, you're at odds with someone right now, you're in separation. I definitely sense that they might send someone else to like spy on you or to ask about you or to like hit you up. Okay, I'm definitely sensing that. I'm also sensing that you're, you know, you might be in a, a point right now where the situation seems a little bit dire. You might be a little emotionally chaotic. Okay, some of you might be expecting or anticipating someone to reach out to you that is going to happen okay um but it's not going to happen when you're expecting it or when you're focused on it all right i feel like this situation was blown up out of proportion though i definitely see that you you guys are going to reunite you guys are going to rectify uh you know in in the near future okay i know time doesn't exist but let's just for a minute pretend humor me so if we want to look at linear time um, I would say you're about in between the tower and the three of swords. Okay. Um, and in this deck, it's like, look at how big the heart with the swords is. It is like above this, this woman here who's kind of, she has her head in her hands, like kneeling on the ground. Okay. I really, and it's sort of like looming over, but it's like, it's not tangible. It's not like stuck in the ground. It's sort of like hovering over. So I feel it's more just like energy that, um, is it's caught up in your um, astral body, okay? It's not really a part of you, but it's still like the energy is sort of like clogged up there, um, okay? I also feel like you have a strong intuition right now, which is trying to guide you into the light, which is trying to guide you into this temperance here, okay? We do have, I mean, this is a timeless reading, but we do have a full moon in Scorpio coming up and a full moon is depicted on that card. So um, if you're someone who's into like, magic and spells or rituals or things like that i definitely would suggest um you know whether it's the scorpio full moon or the next full moon that occurs at the time you see that that uh to make an intention during that time for this situation to be rectified i feel like at, right after that then things are gonna like be in perfect harmony and uh, this person or people are going to reach out to you again and they're going to try to build something with you. They're going to try to hear your side of the story. You're going to hear their side of the story. Like it's going to be more harmonious than, than it seems now. Okay. So that's a general, yeah, that's a general message I'm getting for you. Also, we have, um, this black cat and, and this black crow here, um, Okay, so this is a symbolizing to me like mysticism and sort of like um, magic, okay, like magical messengers. So some of you might actually see a black cat or you might see a black crow or a raven, okay? And I feel like um, animals like that are, are, um, are sort of like they're gonna, you're gonna receive a message from some sort of animal that has like black, all black fur or all black feathers or all black scales or whatever animal but I feel like I feel like that animal like when you see it whether you see it in real life or if you see it um you know online or something or in a magazine that's gonna be your sign like like now is the time now it's perfect and then this whole situation this misunderstanding between you and like these other people or person is going to be rectified and that it could it's it's not going to come when you're expecting it though okay so just be on the lookout for an animal that is like all black okay um and and yeah that will be your sign there so let's look at your oracle cards okay so here are your oracle cards you got be the hunter not the hunted listening for truth releasing allegiances third chakra archangel shamuel you are very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon, Cassette, Ascending, and Palm Tree. Okay, so, and again, you guys, uh, you know, you did choose this clear quartz, uh, but it also has like bits of aura in it. Okay, so I'm sensing that you guys want like just like what you're, you're striving to receive right now is like just a clear head and a clear heart with like a touch of magic. That's sort of what I'm sensing for you. But this is saying that you are on your way there. Okay, some of you might resonate with Archangel Shamuel. Okay, also third chakra solar plexus. Um, I feel like it, it's like you 
you kind of like this, this whole situation kind of dulled your sparkle but i because it is coming to an end your goal is within reach um i definitely sense that you're kind of going to get your mojo back uh, very very soon okay um be the hunter not the hunted now we have this animal here which is an owl so again i don't know if owls come with all black feathers but that could be another animal messenger to let you know that you are extremely close to your goal or receiving that message okay um listening for truth releasing allegiances again like that's why i'm sensing that's for some of you remember i said at the beginning this reading it, it some situations might apply to some of you but not everyone okay so whichever situation we're in i'm definitely picking up that it's not just like a one-on-one -on -one situation for some of you i'm definitely sensing that there was like sides that needed to that well they didn't need to but sides that were kind of taken um lines that were drawn in the sand this might be like having to do with relatives or co-workers or something but i feel like multiple multiple people and not necessarily in a romantical sense like i'm sensing like a group of people okay um releasing allegiances so you know what you just have to like be done like say you're fed up with the drama okay the solar plexus chakra is also confidence standing up for yourself speaking your truth also again we have listening for truth here okay so just allow others to to talk and then you use your own discernment to decipher if they are being truthful uh to you or not right because we have the owl here the owl very very wise owl um what was it the wise old owl sat in an oak the more he sat the less he spoke the less he spoke the more he heard why can't we be like that wise old bird i think that's how it goes okay um but also um, i with this cassette here i also see that there's someone who like again listening for truth there might be and if this is this situation where it's you know uh, an argument involving a whole group of people i feel like one person was sort of like the pot stirrer in this and it's like it's like a broken record or a broken cassette a cassette which like all the like ribbon like flew out of it and it's no longer like useful right um i feel like they sound like sort of like that and it's just like this is just their mo they like to cause drama they like to stir the pot okay um and know that that is entirely them it has nothing to do with anyone else but you are ascending to this fruition here at this palm tree okay you're very um close to achieving your goal so know that this situation is going to be soon rectified if it was sort of like a troublemaker in like that group situation that i said this person is not going to be in your experience much longer because i feel like you're already on your way you sort of sniffed out the bullshit and you're sort of like already on your way ascending out of that type of energy where someone like that wouldn't be able to even be in your experience just because your ener energies would be a mismatch I feel like for those of you that this is like a romantic situation or is an argument, then um, definitely, I don't know why I'm sensing bullying for some reason, okay? Um, some of you, like very few of you, it might be sort of like a narcissist um, type of individual, not necessarily a clinical narcissist but they just sort of have like an ego problem that's what i'm sensing they're not technically a narcissist but i feel like it's it's always kind of like my way or the highway or or whatever it is okay so just uh stand up for yourself i also sense for some of you like you need to really um put up some boundaries for those of you that uh consider yourself to be um an empath okay um your own boundaries is what's gonna like kind of propel you out of this like lower energetic situation okay but i also feel like you're going to receive some guidance um you know a, a message definitely regarding this whole situation you're going to receive it very soon but it's up to you to really like as i said use your own discernment like if your intuition is telling you that this person is sincere and genuine then trust that if your intuition is telling you that you know this person's full of shit and they're wrapping the same bullshit right um you know also listen to that okay because you know what's best in this situation and 
Um, I do sense that some of you are going to be in a very relaxed state of mind very soon. I feel like some of you might be uh, going on a trip to somewhere that literally does have palm trees, okay? Or if you live in a place that has palm trees, I suggest maybe going um, sitting, meditating under one, um, maybe conducting some earthing or some grounding ritual, okay? Um, I'm definitely sensing that. And again, uh, be on the lookout for animals that are uh, all black, all black scales, all black feathers, all black fur, okay? I don't know what other type of covering animals have, but it will be a, an animal in all black, and then you will know, like, this is your sign, like, boom, like, you, you've made it, and, like, now, you know, um, th this situation is, is healed and you're going to receive like healing from it like from a message from that person or people or whatever but like know that okay so um yeah that was it for you guys group number three i am oculus the alien next door we will chit chat again soon peace good vibes and namaste blessed because you are